hi guys welcome to my channel today i am starting a very new series this is my i help my subscribers with their makeup series i don't know if that's like an actual title yet for the series it's, it's working it's a working process i'll figure it out before this video goes up i think i hope because if not i'm in trouble anyway i put out on instagram and in one of my last posts in one of my last videos that i want to start helping you guys with your makeup dilemmas um oh that could be a good name makeup dilemmas um <laughs> I don't know um so basically the idea is I want to help you guys as much as I possibly can which is the entire reason I started my channel um and I always get comments like how do I do this how do I do that how what's the best color for me what's my undertone that sort of thing um not just YouTube Instagram I get people ask me like in private messages and stuff people are constantly asking like how to do this or what it, what am i um and i don't mind that i actually quite like that um and i love helping people and i will obviously i'll sit down and i'll explain and talk them through the answer but i want to help as many people as i can and so today i'm starting this and we're gonna like build off and each video is gonna be on one specific subject one specific question and it's i'm gonna try and break it down to suit everyone or as many people as i possibly can within that video um so today is contouring contouring is the question that i got asked the most and it's actually the first question i got um when i asked for people to send me their questions <laughs> like send me stuff um not like items but questions and dilemmas and everything so sylvia i'm gonna put a picture of her right here beautiful lady great she's got a channel the link will be in the description box down below she's so sweet like oh, eat her anyway um so i was talking and she asked how do i contour so i was like right okay i stole her picture and i actually drew it on the picture and then sent it back to her um the next i said you know let me know what you think the next day she did it she loved it so i was like yay and i was like can i make this into a video and she said yeah so <laughs> that is the origins of what i'm doing so today is contouring contouring is very different to bronzer bronzer is a warm brown or you can go like orange um or like really pink but it's a warm shade contour is cool so think shadows um gray or blue or purple tone browns are the ones that you want in cooler tone colors now there is something called tantoring which is kind of like a if bronzer and contour had a baby you've got a tantor um yes huda beauty has the tantor line which i actually have and i love um it's not fully warm it's not fully like cool it's it's more neutral um and i do love a tantor but contouring is the art of using depth and shadows so cool tones to push areas back and then you've got highlighting which brings um light forward lighter shades to bring an area forward so you would highlight up here where you want your cheekbone to pop but you would contour down here to push it in and then your whole cheekbones like popping out almost like think um like a 3d like uh maleficent cheekbones i guess <laughs> um well that is that is basically what contouring is you use it to create shape and dimension and structure to your face everybody's face shape is different you've got your like your basic um uh, like you've got your round you've got oval square hat whatever sh face shapes but the thing is even though yeah okay so you've got a round face every round face is different every heart shaped face is different um you've got like characteristics like if you look at manny mua he has got a very obvious heart shaped face even his widow peaks like really emphasizes it he could uh 
what am I saying? <laughs> he could contour the corners of his forehead, bring that down, make it less obviously um, heart shaped. If you've got a square jaw, you can contour the corners of your jaws to make it seem more round. If you've got a long face, you can cut your contour um, across your face to narrow it. Um, there is these things that you can do. I will put a chat up on the screen of how I like to contour and highlight and I might put blush in there too. Um, I haven't even made the chat yet but I will <laughs> um, up on the screen for you to see. Now I will also put the picture of Sylvia and what I did for her right now and then now is the chat for everybody else. I will also put this on my Instagram so that you can find it. I think I did this with my eyeliner one too. It's a really good little thing. If you're not sure what your face shape is, take a picture head on and then like you can use like the markup tool if you've got an iPhone and say this is your face. You can literally draw around the borders of your face and that like forget about your face but look at the shape that you drew and that'll give you a really good idea of what shape your face is i have quite a round face um it was a lot more um heart shaped when i was slimmer when i was really skinny i had a very obvious heart shape but because i'm bigger i have a rounder face so i like to contour it down here and my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead if i'm feeling bougie i'll do my nose but that's that's that the easiest way i can explain position of cheekbone contour if you get a brush or something straight it doesn't have to be anything particular you can literally like close you can do it with this you can do it with whatever you want get something straight now most people if you've got a long face ignore this but everybody else pretty much can follow this if you follow your hairline down it juts out just a little bit some people bar on your temple and then it goes back in if you follow this just here right at the top where your ear just like kind of starts you can take the end of your brush hold it down almost like you're holding a phone and can you see that area where the brush is touching now, I'm not holding it all the way across my face because then the end is coming off. You want that end always touching that area. The second that starts to lift, you know you've pushed in too far. So hold it like that. And the second the end starts to lift, pull it back. Now, this area is where you want your contour. You want the end towards your mouth. See? And the end very securely at the very start of your ear this let me swap hands this where the brush is whole is like hugging my cheekbone is where my contour should be now I'm pretty lucky I have quite natural well, very natural um, but quite um, prominent dips in my face you can see right here I always get comments on this I do not do anything to emphasize this um i hated these for a very long time but now i love them um i kind of want to make them more like um anyway like is there a procedure to do that someone let me know in the comments down below but yeah you can see where that holds if you have a really long face you do not put your brush here you put your brush on your tragus is that the tragus yeah that's the tragus same angle to the corner of your mouth and same thing the second it starts to come away from your tragus can you see this the second it comes away from that tragus you know you've gone too far so if i had a really long face i would put the end of my brush to my tragus hold it like a phone and i know that this area is where i want my contour so you've got either the angle straight down or you can go straight across if you have a really wide and really low face, just like a really big head, you can make it this more like a triangular shape and that will work. Um, but yeah, so most people want to just contour 
just this little bit and then you go bronzer like here and then blush and then highlight is all in this area so you can see that this is the highest point of your face this is where you want the shine and the light to bounce off this is where it would naturally hit this if the light was coming from above there would be a natural shadow automatically there because this is higher and further out so this is pushed in this is where the shadow would be if you can't quite visualize it literally how literally just look outside the window and like look at the shadows and how they behave is there a shelf is there a shadow under it obviously there is but look at how like where the light source is coming from and try and like figure it out that way if you have a really long face your contour right across here where your hairline is literally right across your forehead that will bring your forehead to look like it's further down and like the top where your hairline is look like it's going further back so like um <laughs> i'm gonna like it's curved like further back even though it's not um because again it's the shadow so dark here and then highlight here will make your forehead shorter if you contour here this will get narrower so shorter narrower you need to place your highlight in the forefront and your shadows in the back so say i was contouring my face i contour here just this, these areas here and then i highlight the full center of my forehead i don't go here because my face i've got my chin here my cheekbones out and then i go in again so i don't like and i've not really got a massive forehead so i don't like to go here because that will shrink it and make my face look wider if i go here it narrows this area and gives me more of an oval shape does that make sense i hope that makes sense your chin if you most people honestly don't need chin or jaw contouring in my opinion it's just not really that needed if you have a square jaw and you really don't like it you think it's too masculine you can say this say this is my jaw here you can contour like in a i don't know what that shape is <laughs> like this rounded you can round this off with contour i do not know how to explain this shape it's like a triangle but with slope <laughs> so you can contour this area and that will round off your jaw does that make sense i hope that makes sense sometimes i'm talking and i'm just like um, am i just rambling or am i actually making sense your nose i'm gonna leave for a different video because everybody's nose completely different now contouring is not just for the face you can contour your neck you can contour your stomach you can make it look like you have abs i've done it on my hand when i was at college i did sfx makeup and we did it so that like my hand was a skeleton so like you contour like between like the knuckles and stuff and then like you i painted on like the bones you can contour in so many different ways but i don't really want to go down the sfx line it's not something that i do that often i did a few at halloween check those out if you really want but i'm more for like glam um so yeah i hope this has helped again the chat will be up on my instagram either today or it'll have already been put up so just go on over there scroll it won't be too far because honestly i don't post that often but it will be on there um i hope you liked this i hope this was helpful i know i'm not i know i'm not demoed anything but i have explained um and there is a chat so i'm hoping that's enough for you guys if not let me know and i will do like an actual like i will contour my face and explain it a bit better let me know if you've got any other questions leave them down below what are your dilemmas what are the things that you just cannot get a grip on do you want to know your undertone do you want to know 
um how to do a wing eyeliner i've got a video on that do you want to know about your red lip preferences I, i've got another video on that actually um any questions like how to blend eyeshadow how to apply bronzer and blush where do i apply highlighter um anything any makeup question leave them down below and i will do a video each video is going to be a dedicated video so yeah i hope that is okay for everyone thank you so so much and i will see you on the next one bye